Hey guys, it's William. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing amazing and ready for this quick and super easy recipe that I'm sharing with you today. We are going to make Scottish shortbread. I know it's a bit weird coming from a French person to teach you how to make Scottish shortbread, but it's such an amazing recipe and I love it so much. It is beyond honestly with some amazing French butter in there and a lot of salt. I just love shortbread so much that I wanted to share this recipe with you today. And also I'm sure that I'm going to use this recipe and many others. So I really wanted to share it with you so that you can have it in your repertoire and use it as much as you like. And let's get right into it. It is so easy. First easy step today, we are going to use a mixer, but you can definitely do it by hand because we're going to use some room temperature butter that we're simply going to cream with some icing sugar and a bit of vanilla extract. You can omit the vanilla extract if you want to keep this traditional and plain and simple, but you know me, I always use some vanilla in there. So I'm doing the same today and I'm just going to mix this until I have a smooth and pale consistency, kind of like making buttercream with a lot less sugar for sure. And then we will add the flour. I forgot to mention in the beginning, but here I'm using some salted butter, quite traditional when it comes to making shortbread. But of course you can definitely use some unsalted butter and salt it yourself, adding some sea salt flakes or some coarse sea salt, that would be amazing. And now I'm just going to introduce my flour to my wet mixture and mix very well until I have dough. This will take a few seconds, especially since I'm going to gather everything with my own hands on my work surface. All right, so once you have a beautiful bowl of dough, it is time to shape it into the form that you like. Today I decided to make a pretty traditional shape, if I can say so. I don't even know if it's traditional or not, but I see shortbreads like this all the time in France. You can definitely make a long and thinner sausage so that you can make some coins out of your shortbread. You will see once we cut into it, but basically you're gonna cut that piece of dough to bake everything. But now I'm just going to cover it with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about two hours or so. You can put it in the freezer if you're in a hurry and I understand, life is hard. And you will leave it for about 30 to 45 minutes in the freezer, I don't know, just until it is almost frozen but not, of course, and then we can cut everything. My dough is chilled, so now it is time to cut it. I'm just going to cut it with a nice sharp knife. And as you can see, I will cut some pretty thick biscuits. Now an important and traditional steps, you have to make some holes in your shortbread. And my technique today was quite homemade and not very traditional since I didn't have any skewers, I used a piece of linguine, yes. I shaped it actually with a pair of scissors so that it is a bit more sharp. You can use whatever you want in your kitchen. It is just to show you that basically anything works or you can also use a fork if you want some smaller holes. Honestly, you do you and it will taste the same in the end. Now, if you want to make things a bit differently and for example, adapted to the theme of Valentine's Day as it is here, you can definitely put some sprinkles or sugar on the sides of your shortbreads just to create a bit more texture and a polished look. By just brushing some water or even some egg whites, it will stick even better with some egg whites on the sides of your shortbread. And then you will just use your sprinkles or sugar or anything you want on the sides of it and it will look super cute. All right, it is time to bake our shortbreads in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 and Fahrenheit. And I'm going to bake them for around 10 minutes or so, or until they start to look golden brown on the sides, but still pale on the top. And they will be super crispy and flaky and just the, that butter flavor is out of this world. And you should definitely let them cool off a bit before eating them. Hey 
and that's it it was that easy and quick to make shortbread cookies especially if you use the freezer method it will be so quick to make and I always have to add shortbread in my house to be honest it's just one of those cookies that I cannot live without and I hope that you will try this recipe it goes really well for example with my vegan caramel sauce which is here what I did basically and you dip it in the caramel and it's out of this world the entire list of ingredients can be found in the description box under this video if you want to recreate this recipe which you should as well as my social media so facebook twitter and instagram follow me on instagram you won't be disappointed and also subscribe to this youtube channel and give this video a like and a comment if you want to chat i'll be very happy to respond and i will see you very soon for another amazing recipe bye